Today, we will delve into a unique variety that has a special place in my tea-loving heart, Bancha. Bancha, a lesser-known yet equally intriguing relative of the famous Japanese Sencha, first captured my senses with its refreshingly grassy notes and vibrant green hues. From my first sip, I knew it was a tea that deserved more recognition and appreciation. This Japanese tea holds a humble place in daily life yet offers a unique experience that leaves a lasting impression. In the following article, we'll embark on a journey to learn more about this underrated gem, exploring its origin, how it's made, the secrets to a perfect brew, and the many health benefits it offers. This is more than just a tea. It's a testament to Japan's rich and vibrant culture. What is Bancha tea? Bancha is a type of Japanese green tea, often considered a lower grade than its counterparts like sencha or matcha due to the time of leaf harvest and its leaf characteristics. The types of bancha are primarily defined by the leaves used in their production. Unlike sencha, which uses young, tender leaves, bancha is typically made from the larger, coarser leaves and sometimes even the stems and twigs of the Camellia sinensis plant. These leaves are harvested later, usually between summer and autumn. This unique choice of leaves contributes to Bancha's distinct flavor profile, which we'll dive deeper into later in this article. Bancha is often described as having a more robust and earthier flavor than other Japanese teas. Due to the mature leaves used, the Bancha tea caffeine content also sets it apart, making it a suitable choice for those seeking a milder, less refreshing brew. An 8-ounce cup of Bancha tea typically contains approximately 10 mg of caffeine. Furthermore, its high levels of catechines, a type of antioxidant, give Bancha an edge regarding health benefits. So, while it might not hold the same prestige as some other teas, Bancha's unique characteristics make it an intriguing addition to any tea lover's collection. Its nuanced flavor, cultural significance, and health benefits offer a tea drinking experience that is as enriching as it is enjoyable. The origin of Bancha tea. Bancha, meaning, common tea, might seem ordinary initially, but its roots run deep into Japanese history and culture. While not as famous as its cousin Sencha, this Japanese tea has an origin story just as steeped in tradition. The Bancha history can be traced back to the Edo period, 1603-1868. During this time, Bancha was a beloved drink among the common people, hence its name. It was often made from the larger, tougher leaves after the first flush of delicate leaves was picked for the higher grade teas. But don't let its humble beginnings fool you. Bancha played a significant role in the day-to-day -day life of the Japanese, becoming a vital part of their meals and social gatherings. Its significance is beautifully encapsulated in The Book of Tea by Kakuzo Okakura, who eloquently describes the tea as more than just a beverage but a religion of the art of life. Bancha with its robust flavor and calming properties, contributed to this art of life, giving rise to a sense of community and harmony with each shared cup. Bancha's roots extend beyond history. It continues to hold a significant spot in numerous Japanese homes even today, serving as a soothing, everyday beverage. When we enjoy Bancha, we indulge in a delightful Japanese tea while also engaging in a centuries-old cultural tradition. The process of making Bancha green tea Let's explore the journey of Bancha production. It's a journey that transforms these robust leaves into the delightful tea we savor. Picking right pointing arrow steaming right pointing arrow rolling right pointing arrow drying. Once the leaves are picked, they undergo a process of steaming, rolling, and drying. Steaming is essential to stop the oxidation process and maintain a vibrant green color. The leaves are then rolled to break down their cell walls, which helps release their flavors during brewing. The final drying step reduces the moisture content, thus preparing the leaves for storage and shipment. This traditional process of making bancha preserves the tea's nutrients and flavor, offering you a cup of health and wellness. Types of bancha tea Japanese tea, including bancha, is teeming with diversity and depth, shaped by factors such as when it's harvested, its quality, and its place of origin. I'm especially drawn to two primary variations within this captivating world of tea, the unroasted green bancha and the roasted brown bancha, widely recognized as hojicha. The non-roasted bancha has a flavor profile resembling sencha but with softer bitterness. The roasted brown variant, hojicha or irabanka, is unique for its captivating aroma. Bancha tea has lower catechine content than sencha but still boasts a wealth of health benefits. It's rich in antioxidants, 
has antibacterial or antiviral properties, aids in improving cholesterol levels, and helps regulate blood sugar levels. Now, let's delve into some specific types of bancha that I have grown to appreciate over the years. 1. Sanan Bancha, 3-Year Bancha. This is a distinctive form of bancha, harvested and roasted, then aged for 3 years before it goes through another round of roasting. This aging process results in a tea with very low caffeine content compared to other bancha variations. Known for its mellow, sweet taste and enticing aroma, Sanan Bancha is celebrated as a warming, value-adding beverage in macrobiotic diets. 2. Autumn, Winter Bancha. While bancha generally comes from tea leaves harvested post-summer, the specific variety made from sambancha leaves picked from autumn to winter is termed shutterbanka. This autumn, winter bancha is unique for its high content of a polysaccharide known to help lower blood sugar levels. For those looking to harness these benefits, I suggest soaking bancha in water in a container and letting it rest in the refrigerator overnight. 3. Umeboshi Bancha, Plum Bancha. The versatility of bancha continues with umeboshi bancha, a type that seamlessly combines the world of tea and the distinctive tang of plums.